But there's a certain dimension of consciousness which can go beyond time. Yama came to claim his life. Mark and I, who knew the ways of life, just did one simple act. They say, he continued to live as a fifteen-year-old because he came in touch with that dimension of consciousness which we refer to as Kala Bhairav. We have known Shiva as various energy forms. Kala Bhairava is a unique manifestation of Shiva, which is in the form of time. You cannot manage time because it is running at its own pace. Energy you can manage, you can play with it. Time is running at its own pace. But there's a certain dimension of consciousness which can go beyond time. That dimension of consciousness is referred to as Kalabhadra. This is a beautiful story in the tradition. All of you who are from the Indian background at least, you definitely have heard of Mark and I. The story is told in many ways, this needs to be understood. Mark and I was a child. When he was born or before he was born, this choice was made, the parents had to choose. Either they'll have an idiot who will live for hundred years or a brilliant shining being who will live only for sixteen years. The parents were wise and they chose the later that they bore a brilliant shining child of enormous capabilities. But as days passed, as years rolled, they became… because they know the expiry date. Every child you bear has come with the expiry date, it is just that you don't know the expiry date, including yourself. But now they know the expiry date of their child, so they became very tortured as the date came close. And they revealed this to the child because the child was phenomenally wise and knowledgeable. And when the moment came, when the god of death Yama came to claim his life, Mark and I, who knew the ways of life, just did one simple act. There was a form of Shiva in the form of a, an ellipsoid or a linga, an energy form, which was particularly consecrated as Kala Bhairava and he just held the linga. The moment he held the linga, time came to a standstill and death could not approach him and held him right there. Then that dimension of consciousness opened up within him where he was not available for time anymore. They say he continued to live as a fifteen-year-old boy, never turning sixteen because he came in touch with that dimension of consciousness which we refer to as Kala Bhairav. Kala means time. Kala also means nothingness. Kala also means cycles on one level. Kala also means beyond cycles on another level. So these things are… in a subtle way they're deciphered. Kala, Kala Bhairava, Mahakala, these are all talking about the same thing in different dimensions of experience. Right now our experience of time is all because of the cycles of the nature. Anything that is in cycles, we can measure how many times it went around. That's how we are coming to understanding of time. And Kala Bhairava is just making an embodiment of that so that we can access it creating an energy space where we can access that dimension. Because I think uh, in Tamil, <laughs> the word that is used is very appropriate. When somebody dies, they'll say, Kala my tongue. That means his time got over. So it's very simple and it's perfect. All that happened is the time got over. They don't understand, we are like timed toys 
we're just going on. When the battery runs out, poof! <laughs> it's just that most human beings don't realize time is ticking away. They think they're on forever. No, we are… we are toys of time. Time is playing with us right now and it's getting over. You do something, it gets over. You don't do something, it gets over. You burn intensely like a volcano, it's… it gets over. You just be insipid, it gets over. Do whatever the hell, it is getting over. So, you are just a toy of time. So, Kala Bhairava is to access that dimension so that you become a master of time. If you become a master of time, that means you become a master of life too and the life process, because all life process is based and rooted in time. It was guaranteed, if you come to Kashi, you will attain to Mukti. He established what is called today as Bhairavi Yatana, last forty seconds. Many lifetimes of accumulated karma will play out in fast forward.